Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today I will show you how to the set up the Gatti. Gatti is a monitoring tool on Senti OS 6.4. In this part, there are two parts. Part 1 will focus on the start of the Gatti with the three chapters. What is Gatti? Chapter 2, how to install Gatti and chapter 3, binarizing setup. In second video, I'll focus on let's use Gati with the one chapter, how to use Gati. Okay, chapter 1, what is Gati? Gati is the open source network monitoring and graphing tool with written in PHP and MySQL. So, Gatti's the functionality can be configured normally via the web interface. And the Gatti also used the RRD tool, round robin database tool engine to store data and generate the graphics. So, the Gatti is very excellent to create the graphics to show the network data. And the collect the vertical data through the net SNMP. So if we want to use the GATI, the normally the devices must the supply data using SNMP protocol. If you want to access or get more information, please the visit this website. Two GATI operation. GATI has the three kind of operations. First data retriever normally data gati collect from the snmp from the, the other devices such as routers switches servers computers and on so on after the correct data from this kind of the devices normally gati use data storage rrd tools and data presentation. So Gatti has the built-in graphic the functions by RRD tools to deploy the customized graphing and the reports based on the time series data collected from SNMP the capable devices. So get the information data from using the SNMP and store this kind of the data to the RRD tool and present using graphics. Okay, chapter 2, how to install Gatti first. If you want Gatti first, you have to install this kind of the package first. HTTP web server, database, PHP, SNMP and RLD tool and at that we can install this package so RLD uh, the, for the GATI there are three kinds of packages like this if you don't have this one just install like this GATI DLCS and spine like this and number two configuration on MySQL first we please the check the GATI user etc password and etc group uh, and after that, we need to create a database for Gatti for, uh, after login to database, MySQL database, and create database Gatti. And after that, uh, we will the grant all privileges to the, this database to username Gatti and password. In my case, I will decide to the Gatti and plus privileges. And number three, Gatti database file. So please read this one db.php. So database type my case will be MySQL, then default and the Gatti database type and host name, username, password. And port number MySQL will be the 3306. Number four, creating Gatti tables on MySQL. Normally Gatti supply the SQL. This file using this uh, file we can create each the tables for Gatti on MySQL. Mm, chapter three the finalizing setup. So first 
got the access control. Normally, got the supply this the file for the Apache web server. So after open this file, please check your access control. And after that, the web server is start. And after that, number two, got the configuration one the web interface. So in this case, you can use like this localhost got or in my case, I will use my the web domain www.jung.com and of that got So here, you can uh, start the installation. So the click next, next, and uh, please check the RLD2, PHP, and the finish. If you the complete to installation of the Gatti, then you need to the login. So first, the username will be the admin and password admin also. But uh, if you are successful to login with uh, this uh, user and password, you will have to change your password uh, by post. And uh, if you the save, then you will be success. Okay, let's try to the configure GFT. Okay, first, in my case, now, I don't have the GFT packages. So now I will install GFT. GFT as GFT spine as well. Okay, now I'm successful to install all the GATI packages. And the number two, uh, user grab So now I can found, find that he is GATI. GATI is in the group as well. Okay, now let's uh, access the database to create the database show database so in my case I don't have so create database it got D okay and after that grant or got D to in my case, username will be Gatti at the local host. And the password as well, Gatti, same. Okay, now I'm successful to create database as well. Okay, then got the db php so here i have to change something okay database type the mysql default got the host name local host username here my case got the and the password also got the and the port number 3000 the 306 right okay then complete okay and uh, Okay, the tables DOC got D. Okay, so here normally got D supply this one. Okay, then let's create the tables by square and the password and database name got D and the square got D square password. Okay, then let's test, let's check. So now here I select the database GATT and they show tables. So here tables in GATT. So we can find this kind of tables by the SQL text. Okay, then the, let's go to the HTTPD. So here let's open GATT. So here alias name will be the GATT, but 
this alias point, this direct USR share got D. And uh, in my case here, access control okay, allow from, in my case, Okay, so in my case, I already add my network address as well. Okay, then let's start web server restart. Okay, then the let's open the browser. Let's start the browser and open the GAT. So in my case here. In my case, jong.com got it. So here, let's start the installation next first. And the new install. And so here, please check your RLD2 binary path of PHP like this. So in my case, here, especially the got log file. VAR log got D. So I uh, will uh, change the log directory. So VAR log got D got D dot log. And uh, please check your SN, net SNMP the, pad, the button and RL2 as well. Okay, finish. So here, user, I already told you, the username that as a default, the admin and password as well, the login. But uh, here I have to change the password as well. So in my case, username, the admin and password, got D, got D and save. Okay, now I'm uh, successful to uh, configure the got D. In next video, I will show you how to create the device and the graph and how to use the template like this. So in the next video, I will show you this kind of the topics. Thanks for watching my video and see you next video.